Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Land of Ice and Snow, a D&D 5th edition actual play podcast set in an alternate history 11th century Europe, specifically the Nordic lands, everywhere up there with Norway, Sweden, Finland, Denmark, and the like. We are actually following a party of six heroes who are trying to find fame, fortune, and glory. Glory. As they seek out the evil that is finding itself in the winter. Uh, we're going to go ahead and introduce our party. We've got first Julio is up in the top left today. Hi, everybody. I'm Julio, and I'll be playing uh, Kasim. Uh, Kasim, known to some as Kasim Ibn Jabel, is uh, a businessman, first and foremost. It's only too bad that most of the business that he chooses to engage in is not socially acceptable. Um, Kasim uh, hails from the land of Babylonia, where he was a member of a group of thieves who grew tired of his insistence of uh, paying his debts and living by a code, and shanked him a bunch of times and dumped him on a boat. After which he found himself uh, in this terrible, terrible land, so cold and inhospitable and full of goblins. Um, Kasim dreams of one day being able to rebuild some sort of organization that will allow him to accomplish his goal of uh, bending entire nations to his will. All right. Uh, down to Skull in the middle left. All right, I'm playing Alias Neus Hadrianus. He's a tall man from the Iberian Peninsula of the Roman Empire. He is a bald pate and prematurely graying black beard. Alias used to be a centurion in the Roman Legion until one night all men under his command were killed by some sort of creatures of the night. Uh, after he resigned from the Legion in disgrace, he's dedicated his life like a man possessed to the hunting of the creatures in the night. So he now roams the land as a blood hunter, which is a similar but legally distinct witcher. He's also gotten a little bit furrier lately as he's taken the path of the lichen for the blood hunter orders. So, hold on. Were there two song uh, references in your... Uh... In your in your intro, we we got creature of the night, and we got man possessed. Or, or am I just crazy? Yeah, you're just crazy. Don't so, worry about it. I mean, it, is he in London right now? What? So, yeah. <laughs> uh, we got we got Megan here. in the middle square tonight. Hello, I am Megan in the middle square, and I play Ashlyn, who's a half she druid from the Celtic lands because the elves in the Celtic lands are actually fairies. Uh, she is a willowy six-foot woman with pointy ears and violet eyes and silver hair, and she wears a little woven wooden flower crown. And she was raised by her father's human druid clan after her mother ran away from home. But uh, her elf grandfather found them, and Ashlyn uh, was told to run away. So that's what she did. And now she's off on her own with these strange folks and... Uh, uh, a pointy sword that does pointy sword things. <laughs> Is it, it? Are these folks really that strange? Let's be clear. I mean, two of them are giants. One of them's an invisible giant sometimes, and he keeps stealing stuff and talking to the woodland animals. Uh, that's where he gets all his facts. <laughs> Kasim at least has good warm clothes. Yeah, thank God. <laughs> and Nefertiti's a wizard, and uh, that other guy just like what? <laughs> Out of everything else, Neferetset's a wizard. Like, why? I mean, so, so, so speaking of Neferetset, down in the middle right, we've got Stewie. Um, every time we do this, I feel like we're playing Hollywood Squares. Like, Thank you. TBH. That's what I'm going <laughs> that is what I'm going <laughs> um, I will be playing Neferetset, the most beautiful of set, a uh, bronzed uh, Egyptian beauty. She has uh, come to this absolutely horrendous land in search of she's not sure what yet, but I'm sure when she finds it, it'll be a nice fire and some warm furs. <clears throat> For now, she will go on her adventures, uh, trying to not steal any more of her uh, fellow's kills. 
which she's still sorry for. <laughs> Speaking of glory and uh, kill stealing fuckwads, <clears throat> Colin <laughs> did down in the <laughs> down to the bottom left. Yeah. I am Colin. I am playing Og Magni Kraken Breaker, the resident uh, local, I guess you could call him. He is a Jotun of the Stormlord's tribe, and he is a paladin. Uh, a Jotun is, as you would expect, giant kin in his way. So he is around seven and a half feet tall, probably about 300 pounds or so. So imagine half the Bjornsson, only a little bit bigger. That's pretty much what he's built like. He's got bigger, uh, gray bigger. skin. A little bigger. Uh, he's a uh, half Thor. Is uh, yeah, he's b- bigger than him. He's got gray skin, deep purple eyes, and bright red beard and hair. He's loud and boisterous and brash. And his his goal to attain demigodhood through his deeds of glory and honor. And uh, as of right now, it seems that his glory keeps slipping out of his fingers. Uh, do you, do you mind if I Maggie. share the uh, the the fan art? That you no, got? do it, do it, do it. I want to. I want everybody to see. Do it. So you guys saw last week we had uh, Sailor Jotun. Apparently, while while uh, while some people say that Ashlyn is the crowd favorite, um, Og Magni is the only person to have gotten not one but but two pieces of art so far. Uh, so so there's Og Magni for everybody. Yeah, the glory uh, is coming. The, the glory will come. Uh, and there's S- Sailor. And Sailor so Jotun. have I. And Sailor and Sailor Jotun. And Sailor Jotun. Which is, uh, which is <laughs> I, I'm going to fund that cosplay for Colin. He will be the smallest Jotun, but it'll be great. <laughs> I'll have to stand on someone's shoulders. Um, <laughs> Delvin, our, our intrepid rogue, is running a little bit late, so I'm going to go ahead and do his introduction. Delvin is a wanderlust furbolg. Uh, imagine how curious and how flighty you have to be for the furbolgs to be like, well, could you please go elsewhere? <laughs> <laughs> and so he has now found himself wandering the Nordic lands somehow with these people, a town, a place where all the animals are substantially bitier than back home. And he, he keeps local customs in a journal, whether he fully understands them or not. Uh... He uses his his natural fey powers to make sure that he never quite looks the same way twice. And only recently, more and more magic things are happening around him. Um, I'm Rurik. I'm your DM. I'll be running this show. Uh, Tonight we got a couple of special announcements. Based on player feedback from last week's session, we have actually created a thing for you guys to spend your uh, channel points on. You can uh, spend a thousand channel points to give advantage uh, to a player on one roll. You can also give us a hundred bit cheer to do the same. Uh, you can also, if you don't particularly like the players, spend the same to give me advantage on a roll. Although Skull insists I don't need it. You don't need it. You don't. Um, need it. We'll get that tracker for your crits. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna make a we bot. All know that. We're gonna make a bot to track my crits. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and uh, sort of sort of recap where we were last time. The party has come to the town of Ardnar, which is a Nordic, a small Nordic village that is currently under siege by a thousand goblins and, uh, and a variety of other creatures. They were approached by the spy master, the scout leader of the of the village, to go and sneak into one of the smaller goblin camps and attempt to find some intelligence about who is leading this army and why they have insisted on attacking the town. Everything was going aces until Og Magni, um, I don't know. I, I don't even know. Uh, slid down a hill uh, uh, <laughs> and, and, and managed to hit every rock on the snow-covered ground with his metal armor, uh, which woke the camp and has now led to a pitched battle essentially where the six of them seven with the uh fire stag that ashland summoned are facing off against approximately 50 goblins an ogre six wargs the goblins are waking up in waves and so the party has managed to get somewhat of a of a, of a rhythm going as they murder the goblins however they are having the issue that they are rapidly running out of resources and are trying to make the decision about whether they're going to escape or not. Um, as you guys can see on our initiative tracker, Ogmagni, you're currently up 
and you are surrounded both by enemies and fire as uh, as Ashlyn is finally coming into her own as a wildfire druid. Well, uh, Og Magni is going to have to hit that big old warg that's in front of him because uh, that thing is, uh, you know, a wolf the size of a horse. Um, he does so that. you know, the warg is absolutely close to death. Okay. So I, I don't know if that's going to change what you what you want to do. I am working on getting an API for Roll Twenty, which will color all the monsters with uh, with an aura, letting you know how much their health is at. Okay. Like, roughly how much their health is at. This guy would definitely be in the red. Okay. Well, ooh, I, I he still probably hits harder than them goblins. So I'm gonna uh, remember that you can also mouse over the tracker to see where he gonna... is on the initiative thing. So, okay. So he's next. Oh, I completely messed that up. I did to do to do. Hold on. Okay. Okay. So you're attacking the ward. Uh, that will hit. Okay. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna smite him. I'm just gonna do normal. Uh, that would just be mean. That will. Uh, and I get to reroll that one six. That was a one because I have the great weapon fighting thing. Look. He had five hit points. <laughs> I, I, I need this. Right. Rick, don't you do this to me. You take this from me. I need something. All right. So you do three times what was needed to kill that poor warg, and he is you now. Might wanna, you might want to back up a little bit. Oh, yeah. You should like go to one of these two squares. Yeah. Because if you end where you're at, the fireball will damage you. No. No. I, I, no. It's, it's only five feet out. Yeah. It's those it's nine back. squares. But if you oh. move over here, then she can move the ball over here. That so. is true. Because yeah. if it baps you, it's not nice. Yeah. Would I? Would it be in my character if he if he saw this big fireball? Would it make sense for him to take a step back? You think? I, I think taking yeah. a step back is the tactical yeah. decision. And you remember you yes. and I were discussing uh, the fact that the Vikings are absolutely tactical people, regardless of it. Yeah. Else. And but if not, the will yell at him to do it. Burned by you take a fire. single step back. Now, would that take me out of... So that would give this one goblin right here an attack, right? You are getting an attack opportunity from this one goblin. Okay. Um, but realistically... <laughs> realistically, I mean, how many 20s did he roll last game? Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's going to yell at him to get back, and Hug Maggie is going to be like, well, now I'm not going <laughs> to. <laughs> well, now I don't want to. It's going to uh, be a friendly yell. Well, now I'm going to stay here. Maybe very petulant so the, no, the, the goblin swings it. at you kind of haphazardly um it flips him off after him. <laughs> uh, but but misses entirely all right imagine that like i have him by the neck and he kind of like turns around tries to like hit you with a scimitar i'm like hey what are you doing stop stop that nonsense. <laughs> just look up dude <laughs> so this goblin here is next he sees Ogmagni taking a defensive position and he's gonna you know what He's going to do the same. He's going to move one square foot up and then take his best shot at Og Magni. He lines okay. up his attack. He doesn't quite have flanking with his friend. Oh, boy. Now he does. Um, <laughs> I thought about it. Uh, oh, no. She's... It's like I could just do one more. Still uh, but no amount of flanking helps as Og Magni twirls his axe and smacks the goblin scimitar away. We are now up to Ashlyn, the uh, fairy fire princess. I dig it. What do you um, think? How are these goblins right here? So bastards. neither of them are bloodied. One of them has not been injured. Oh, all right. Well, let's just take care of them really quick. Uh, Delvin was going to uh, sneak into that tent, right? I will take now Delvin's action. Don't, don't, don't worry about Delvin. I'll take care of him. Um, <laughs> Famous last words. <laughs> Poor guy. It will take care of the um, Elvin. Do Firestag and I have to disengage from... Sorry, I don't have my ping thing on. From this guy if we wanted to move? Uh, you have to disengage. It disengage is not from a particular person. You disengage and then you are able to um, just get away from as many people as you walk through. Hey, Stewie, there's another yes, bot some... on the channel. Can you please... Move? Is there? Mm-hmm. So I was thinking we let Delvin, uh, get, can you guys hear me over there? Yeah. You're all in, uh, fuck all whereverville, right? I mean, it's loud. Uh, you'll have to yell. 
to for them to hear you, but yes. All right. Uh, okay, so before you do anything... I'll just murder first. Before you do anything, remember that on your turn, you get an action, a move, a bonus action, and a free inter environment interaction. What's an environment interaction? Draw a weapon, like drawing draw a, sword, a potion, yeah. open a door, oh. talk to someone. Well, I'm already holding everything I need, so... Uh, I'm just reminding you how the uh, action economy appreciate... works. I appreciate you. I forgot about environmental actions. Uh, so I'll pull out my megaphone when I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I would like to, if any of you can hear me over there, uh, finish my murders okay. and uh, get the fuck out of here. Would, is, <laughs> would anyone else like to get the fuck out of here? Yes. No, I'm good. And there in lies exactly why we will not be YouTube monetized. <laughs> that, was, that was two in a row from Ashlyn. You kiss. Hers probably sounds more like Fook. And uh, that's fine. Um, <laughs> I'll work on my Irish accent your, for you. Do, do not forget that you can, as a bonus action, have your deer, have your fire stag teleport. Right. I guess I could just teleport over and uh, let them know that we're we're leaving, or, or I'm leaving with or without all of you. <laughs> Bye. You can either you can either teleport the stag or you can move the fireball, but you know. Yeah, that's true. Those are those are your Is two the options. fireball still sitting on top of all of those people? It was just er, one. people. Oh just one. well. Right now it's just the one that I'm holding on top of it. Yeah, yeah. you could like move it back one square and then move it forward to the contact casino? these two. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, These two right here. Yes. You can yeah, you can move it straight up and it'll contact those two guys. Alright, that's what we'll do at the end then. But for now let's just uh stop. Oh oh wait, 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 wait. Maybe big brain. You move it up one so it contacts this guy, and then you move it down so you can contact these two because you should have just oh yeah I can... no once it makes contact it, it stops to move oh yeah it does it has to like once it runs into something it stops basically oh does it it's does ball. it stop dry yeah it's it's a fiery beach ball of hate <laughs> i imagine that all of the guys are like standing over there and i can like see them and they're just wildly gesturing <laughs> and like this yeah i mean like i said it's 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 difficult so do you, do you, what, what, what? I mean, you could also help Alias, who is currently covered in goblins. He's got a plethora. Where is Alias? I am. Can you see him? Over here. You're up here, right here. This is you, right? Yes. Yeah, I can see you. You're right above the dark spot. Uh, but Kasim is going to. Uh, yeah, and there's Kasim's... another one coming after me. Go away. Stop that. I, I see you, Izzy. <laughs> You're everyone's favorite. <laughs> Apparently. How's Alias doing as far as hit points? You're too far to you tell. Uh, the Alias is fine. Hey, I just said she's too far to tell. <laughs> I'm pretty uh, sure how, how, however, looks like Ashlyn, she's in pretty bad shape. I uh, Ashlyn, you have recall. now spoken as much as you I, can I, speak. I, I big giant mitts. All right, all right, all right. It does. So, oh, it looks like you're doing perfect. So now we're going to do the thing. Hey, hey Davis. Davis. Welcome to the end. I just noticed Davis' oh. cute face, and I'm about to have a heart attack. Ugh, look at that. Just it's, it's it's so... a cute mug. All right, Ash, what are you doing? <laughs> We're gonna smack that goblin. Smack uh, that. Oh, no. Did it work? Uh, it didn't I believe work. That, I believe that's going to miss, even with the flanking bonus for your. No, give it to me. Nope. Oh wow, man, goblins have a 15 armor. Why? What? I don't know. But what is your bonus action going to be? Are you going uh, dexterity to dexterity and leather armor? Yeah. yeah. Are you going to go ahead and... I don't know. Yeah, we're going to move it... this fireball a bit. Oh, you have to move it for me. Uh, yes. Can you scoot it up into these uh, little bastards? Sure. All right, so yeah. we're going to take two dexterity saves from these goblins. If they fail, they take half damage. Right. The first one fails because it's at disadvantage because he's currently being grappled. And the second one just fails for failing. So go ahead and roll the damage. <laughs> yes, because apparently he likes to fail. Yeah. <laughs> Where's six. my fireball damage? I do not know. Hold on, I got Just it. 2d6. I mean, I cannot imagine a world in which you do not kill these guys, but... 
Yes, that will kill both of them. Well done. So, All right. So Megan, uh, so Ashlyn is is momentarily preoccupied with her sphere and so misses her first, or possibly her second sword attack ever. Uh, but then rolls the sphere onto two goblins and Kasim suddenly finds himself liberated and holding a barbecued goblin. Alias, you're up. Uh, uh it's my fire stag's turn. No, you use your... You, use uh, your bonus you can action. only defend... Oh, I use my bonus action. I'm sorry, yeah. I forgot. You're right. All right, uh, I'm going to swing a claw at this guy. Okay. I like that Davies managed to log in exactly uh, right before his turn. So. Okay. Wow. <laughs> if anyone screws up Davies' turn, it's going to be Davies. Uh, so then I'll use my second attack and then just try to claw it again. Okay, much better. Excellent. Exact opposite. All right, so yeah. you're going to roll for damage. All right, and then it's dead. And then it is dead, as you eviscerate him. Yeah. Take his head off like a bottle. And I'll, like, move over here okay. without provoking from either of them. But right. that's all I get to do. Delvin, you are up. You are currently stealthed. Nothing is aware of your existence. Yep. Heading here. Okay. Is that doable, boss? That is doable. And then uh, go ahead and give me your investigation roll as your action for the turn. Uh, do you have... I mean, no, there's plenty of light between the fireball and the bonfires and torches and whatever. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, yeah, I, I can see, bro. Uh, where is... The, why are you being like this? And the slow-roasting like corpse of a uh, ogre. Mm -hmm. No, that one's outside. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> we were decent enough not to murder it in the tent, you know? Yeah, yeah. I'll try! I tried to murder you he, he did try. I <laughs> tried. I did 20 points of, hey, you didn't know I was here. It just wasn't enough. Yeah, I mean, it turned around and it did 20 points of, hey, I knew you I know you're here. here. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, but now I do. I thought you were playing with him. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> it chased me down and did 20 points of. And I went to love right, him and hug uh, him. And Davies, him, and hug him and uh, love him. Delvin. You search around frantically as you can, and you find a large sheaf of paper rolled in a leather wrapping. Um, when you get a chance, try and adjust your camera so that we can see you. It's been doing this thing where it moves around. I'm sorry. It's okay. Like, <laughs> it zooms in and it zooms back out, and now I look like the kingpin. It's sentient. Yeah, yeah. All right. So up next, we've got Neferetset. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to shoot this one in the face. Hopefully. As it, as it tries to grab you? I'm going to shoot no one in the face. <laughs> no. Uh, for those well, keeping track, that is currently two sets of double ones by the players. It doesn't count when it's only been two players. No, no. It doesn't it count when it's totally never counts. It, it counts when it's been four ones. <laughs> All right. Kasim, you are up. You're holding a barbecued goblin. Uh, it smells vaguely braised. <laughs> Okay. Uh, beat somebody with a dead goblin. I dare you. Do it. Improvise <laughs> weapon, goblin. <laughs> when I get tavern brawler, I'll be doing that kind of shit. But right now, um, it's looking it's, like it's 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 braised. You just shove your hand in it. All right. So I'm gonna throw the 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 flaming corpse of this goblin. Uh, I want to say like right about here. Okay. I mean, that's, and just like that's a hell of a throw. That is a twenty foot throw for a, for a small child. Yeah, I mean, and as the I'm owner just gonna of several like... small children, that that's that's distance. I believe you. I believe in you. But go. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just gonna you know roar at these guys, like a, try to uh, try to intimidate them. Okay, into, so you're actually uh... taking the intimidate as your action. Yeah. All right, go for oh, it. No, go go and kick this motherfucker in the head. <laughs> Hey, man, I'm making us time right now. So let me roll the athletics to throw this motherfucker. Oh, actually, do um, you want me to roll intimidation or athletics? Uh, go ahead and roll athletics. I'm going to give that to you for free. And depending on how you do, you might get advantage on your, uh, on your intimidation. Well, I always have advantage on intimidation. Oh, thanks to well, my... Uh... <laughs> well, that is just roll your intimidation. <laughs> Is just like football. You put spin on the goblin when you throw him. 
<laughs> Make sure. Oh yes. Yeah. Look at this. Ear. Oh yes. Guy. Make sure you got the thumb by the ear. <laughs> um, so at this point, you guys have killed uh, so many goblins that I was going to start making uh, willpower saves for them. For the next round, every goblin that can see Kasim will make that willpower save at disadvantage. Nice. Then I'm going to start moving, and then move one, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, four here. It's like, yeah, that's right, bitches, and then it's undermined a little bit by running away. <laughs> I feel it's like he's just walking retreat. away. He's not even running. He's just like, yeah, get the hell out of my way. He's just like bumping into him. I think this is absolutely cool, guys. Uh, don't look at explosions. Nope. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is. Chucks that the got, goblin that, behind. The him. goblin exploded. <laughs> <laughs> so this goblin is up and he's going to go ahead and try his will, will save uh, which is not okay so he's going to disengage yeah that's right get the fuck out of here one two three <laughs> four five six um he does not drop his weapons in fear but he does just leg it and scream out to his friends in goblin which ashlyn understands let's just get to the next camp there's too many of them Get to the chopper! Yes, the there chopper. absolutely is too many of us. Six of us How to the 30-something of them. Too many! Ashlyn doesn't think her friends are stupid enough to not realize that they're running to the next camp, but she's been wrong before. So the goblin that was chasing Neferetet will now make its will save. Uh, he, oh, Jesus. he does, in fact, drop his weapons. <laughs> And just, he's like, yeah, leg it! <laughs> Catatonic. <laughs> fucking... He dropped his shit. He, he dropped his He does, in fact, uh, he makes it far enough away that you guys will not be able to chase him. He shits himself violently. <laughs> um, next goblin is up. Is there a point where the <laughs> failed really, guys? Start affecting the next set. Oh, of I can't believe they're feeling wisdom save. Yeah, it's like uh, what was that rule in Eighth Edition where they had to run through the? Uh, where they oh yeah, like yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Where like if a set of goblins ran through another set of goblins, they all both had to make saves. So well, that's just everybody in in, in previous leadership. Edition. But no, uh, because if a set of goblins ran through orcs, the orcs didn't have to make a save. Well, that's just the, that's, that's because just the, the goblins had the insignificant rule, rule and yeah. they, the orcs didn't care about them. Yep. Of course not. Ah, this goblin, on the other hand, is like. Too many. There's only six. <laughs> I got. I got counting. I'm about to say. At it's what six fingers. That's why he knows. A failed save he knows. Add negative on the on the next save. Um. The so my rule had been that if you guys get to a point where where you now where half of them are dead, they will start having just general issues fa passing that save. Uh, in addition to this uh, intimidation. Right. Uh, damn it, Maybe Mrs. Neferetzet. Cool. Good. Why, why did you say it like that? Because he wants to hit me. What a meanie. I do want to hit you. I want you to hit me too. Kill me. Let's go. Say, <laughs> I got my Igor sitting right here. I heard you He's waiting. <laughs> this, one, this one is sticking around. He's like, ah, it's just a bigger wolf. <laughs> Attempts to attack uh, <laughs> just Alice, a bigger wolf. but misses miserably. Alias <laughs> <laughs> just like leans down to look at him like, Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, this one, however, will miss Real the fire life. stag because the fire stag is dodging. Elder kingdoms, demons, vampires. Where's my orcs and goblins book? Fire stag's gonna beat the shit out of him. No, he's not. You gotta catch him first. <laughs> um, uh, you'll never catch me. I'm the ginger blood goblin. That didn't go as well as he planned. So, uh, bye. Let me tell you this. <laughs> Goblins can can get some impressive distance there. They're cowards. <laughs> this is just that scene from the the was it the Justice League TV show where that one goon goes and he sees Batman. He's like, Nah, I'm good. Right. He just closes the door. <laughs> mm -mm, nope. Mm -mm, nope. Not doing it. Nah. Okay. All right. So go ahead and uh, go ahead and roll me a D10 Neferet set. A D10. All right. Here's your D10. No! I knew this I, would happen! You do this to us every time! <laughs> I don't know why, but like, Damn clearly, it, the only good rolling I've been doing the last two sessions is for waking up goblins. <laughs> I remember when we were waking up D4 goblins. 
Right? Don't you remember that? I remember no, when it was D6 it was, for a little bit. It was always D10, and then I spent a couple of rounds where I'm like, nah, we're just going to go ahead and open... Uh, two goblins. Two three goblins. goblins. Because it was it, you guys were starting to get a little... Uh, Overrun. Why does it have to be at the camp that I'm going to? Fuck oh, off, all of you. Go back to bed. So this whole camp is now awake. Don't you have magic? I do have magic. I don't have magic for that many. Not yet. Just just get... Tell them you're the pleasure snake. <laughs> the pleasure snake. <laughs> I'm sure the that pleasure goblin. Well. It stands to reason there'd be other pleasure things. Yes. Goblins need pleasure things. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I guess when it comes to it, we can throw a wall of thorns right the fuck over here. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, the fireball that served this purpose. I am missing a goblin. I cannot find it. Now we have flaming... Now we have flaming oh, wall of thorns. <laughs> oh, I mean... Works for me. <laughs> Vaya con Dio. Alright, so the next goblin... Yeah, he, he's a brave one. Which oh, one is that? I need to backstab him. I need to backstab him. I'll teach him a lesson, and this is what you get for being brave. This one up here. Uh, ah. right? Firing at his friends. Uh, well, I mean, firing at Alias. Okay. He will hit Alias for six damage. Or three damage, you mean. Fine. Three <laughs> damage. Whatever. Close enough. The uh, fire oh, fur? Close right, enough hold damage. on. I need, to, I need to mark down which goblins are currently afraid. They are petrified. At first they were afraid. Now they're, they're petrified. petrified. <laughs> if they start dancing, I'm I'm done. I just want you to know this. Really, that's where we're drawing the line. We had an entire conversation about a pleasure goblin, but they start dancing, I'm out. All right. <laughs> well, I mean, they're pleasure goblins. That's uh, goblin pleasure. That's pain. I mean, you can. I just don't want to see like the replacements was a good movie, man. I don't want them to ruin it for me. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good movie. <laughs> Like I'm, it is on, it's like top three of my better than they had any right to be movies. Like that is really a definite. Is. That is a definite three o'clock on a Sunday afternoon movie. It's perfect for that. All right, so I've marked all my running away goblins. Actually, that wasn't the bad. All one. of them? Only four are running away. That's that's not terrible. No, it's not, especially because ten just woke up. Got ten new ones. All right, so the next one is running away you yeah that's right get the fuck out of here you manky git what, what good, <laughs> poor, what good poor chop you? sandwiches one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve that could have been delicious uh og magni <laughs> you see that the goblins are now running in a variety of directions ah <clears throat> uh, oh babies all right uh, see the goblin fire drill Ashley, yeah. please, please put your spike growth on that camp of goblins. I want nothing more than to see ten goblins died. <laughs> nah, don't worry about that. Why don't you just, uh, like, this... yeah, throw a pine cone? <laughs> that instead. I like that more. What's no. this goblin looking like in front of me? Is he looking all mocking, scared and stuff? Um, <laughs> so they're all looking vaguely scared, right? But, hold on, I need to mark that this camp is, has oh, been shit. fully spawned. I almost tried to pick up my coffee cup while my hands are covered in lotion, and it almost went everywhere. And this oh, no. fully spawned. Slippers. Ashland's going back to the tavern to tell the baby-eating elf how ungrateful everyone is for her <laughs> Um No, uh, He's so the only the one goblins, who understands. All the goblins do, in this... fact, look scared. But you, you can never know when one will get a random decision to, to be brave. All right, well... What's the, what's uh, the line from uh, from Pirates of the Caribbean? You never know when a... When a Good man will surprise you. No, you never know when a goblin will surprise you. You never know when a goblin will surprise you. Okay, so once again, they're stupid. They could do anything. He just doesn't. He's gonna yell at this thing and try to intimidate it. Uh, yell at it in giant because he understands the fact that that ogre probably yelled at them in giant is hoping to trigger some PTSD out of this. <laughs> so you you have the, uh, so intimidation would be your action. You would not get to attack. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right. Is he's pretty much going to yell at it to to surrender? Uh, this will have a plus three to it though, since my strength modifier instead of my charisma, as we talked about. Okay. Oh damn! It's only a oh. seven then. Nope. That the goblin does not seem particularly impressed with you. I don't. I don't get advantage because he's all. Mm, not with a. F no. No. As a matter of fact, he's going to turn around and stab you. All right. <laughs> 
Uh, I've always wanted to stab you. that bastard. Now it's your turn. Yeah, you, what you did was instead of triggering the flight response, you triggered the <laughs> fight response. <laughs> What's your armor there, uh, Ogmagni? Oh, he hit me, but I got a 16. All right, so he hits you for eight damage. All right. Uh, well, yeah, you you absolutely, he was like, you, you yelled at him, and he's like, Jesus! <laughs> All right, Ashlyn, ah! you're up. You're up. All right. Uh, you know what? Fuck it, since it looks like I'm not going to have the opportunity again for a little while. We're going to summon a train. A train? <laughs> a train? Summon train. <laughs> Is it the soul train? <laughs> Oh, I didn't know you were an artificer. Back to this. Ashlyn is full of surprises, uh, as we have established. Yeah. Okay. And we're back to the pleasure goblins. On that <laughs> big old concentration of goblins, goblin encampment. We. Oh, thank God. The train. <laughs> the train. I think I went to one square too big. No, no, I like that one. <laughs> no, no, like... Yeah, that's no, a good that's one. It. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I think that's perfect. That's four by four, so it's good. So Ashlyn's fire beach ball, which she loves so much, disappears and gives oh, way yeah. to spike growth instead. Actually, move it one square to the right so you can get two instead of the one. Yeah. Right here? Technically, it's supposed to be a 20-foot radius, go. not diameter. So technically, you're several too short. It should be this big by this big. Oh, it's a 20-foot mm -hmm. radius? It's a twenty yeah, foot radius, not diameter. Uh, it's so, big, yeah. yo. So it's an eight by oh, okay. eight. Okay, you can get all of them. Yeah, all of them. To be them. Here. Ah, Ooh. all those little bastards. Jesus. That's it. To back. All oh, right. See, that's why. That's why you read the spell description right there. <laughs> <laughs> and then when you read it and it doesn't say what you wanted to, you just don't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see. What do we got here? Okay, so they they're currently not in any danger uh, until they start moving. Evil. Uh, 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 uh. I wonder if they're just going to make the decision to just stay still. Goblins? Takes, no, they're stupid. They take 2d4 damage per 5 oh, feet yeah. they oh, travel. Yeah, 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 100%. We, uh, I'm using it, uh, the, the druid in our game, in our, in our family game is using it, and my minotaur will just push, uh, hammering horns people 10 feet into it, so they'll take the damage from the attack, and then 4d4 from getting pushed. Um, and Ashlyn can still use her bonus action to have the stag do stuff now. Yes, you can. Okay. Mm -hmm. Technically, you'd have the stag go into the spiky growth and set it on fire. <laughs> do, do not do that. It would, Is... die. it would die a sad death. Um, I mean, she also has a fireball. That is true. So, uh, uh, viewers that are just starting to watch, remember that you can now spend channel points to give advantage for a thousand channel points or a hundred. Yes. Yeah. To, but to not, the players, to Rick. not to the yeah. GM. All right, uh, go to, ahead. To, hit to that. Either. Mm -mm. No, no, no. Uh, We're at the squad. Not my the GM. spiky. I mean, my spiky. My fiery beach ball disappear because it's right. also a concentration spell. A fiery beach yeah. ball is gone. Unless you want me to have it, in which I, case I that's not. also fine. I Aww. do not go away, fiery beach ball. Okay. Aww. I will remember. Uh, so Ashlyn's okay. gonna ask everyone. Uh, do you, do you, do we want to get out of here? Do you want to leave? I want to yes. leave. Why? You're oh. winning. Yes, very much. All right. Uh, Kasim, how far? What's my teleportation range? Thirty feet. Now, uh, how far? How close must you be standing? You have to be on the square next to the stag. Yeah, you can teleport Kasim, up to eight. Kasim, come here. <laughs> Kasim, just a little closer, buddy. Like right now, it wouldn't even teleport you. Yeah, if you you could like have the stag circle around to this spot. And then yeah. teleport you and Kasim on the way out. But you can both just move over to me. Uh, yeah, we'll do that because we haven't moved yet. Uh, but first, we're gonna hit this goblin. Okay, you can only tell because the stag to do one thing: attack. Oh no! Move or we're teleport. Move. Or teleport. Well, we can't teleport anywhere until we're all near him. So, okay. Uh, I guess I'll I'm gonna move over here next to what? Just kill the goblin. Kill the goblin. He's probably just gonna run away. You don't yeah. know that. Fine, I'll kill and, the goblin. And then he stabs you, and then you're like, "Why did I?" Uh, <laughs> kill him until he runs. My stag is gonna first do hoof beats of danger or whatever. <laughs> um, danger, danger, danger zone. 
<laughs> oh, right. to the Go ahead and roll uh, damage because it's flanking, so that will hit, which will kill the goblin. Yeah, All right, so he's going to do that, and I'm going to move over here. Uh, where? Oh, me. This is me. And then... I just realized that the players cannot dry. see the disaster that you have made of that camp down south, so I'm going to zoom out. It'll be a surprise. <laughs> I can see it. Uh, it's yeah, not I pretty. It. <laughs> also, uh, Izzy, I think you left everyone's uh, sight up too much from when you were trying to show us what you put up at the top. So, let me see. Uh, yeah, I can see the. Because uh, I can see the some... entire map. I cannot, but I can see the outline of some dead stuff over here. Well, yeah, no, I... it, you can see the entire map. Neferet said because there is campfires. Everywhere. Everywhere. There's a lot of fire going on. Yeah. Hey, oh, thank you, thank uh, you for letting me know. Building little bonfires just. It just seemed like a lot to me. I'm like, I don't know what this is supposed to be, but. All right, uh, Ashlyn. So you are done with that. Uh, yeah, because he can't move, right? He's He can only do hoofbeats of danger. Yep. He can move too, I think. No, it's you can command it to do one or the other. Oh. I think. You can catch up later. He's a deer. Someone check. Uh, but I had to get next to Kasim anyway. Put so the, put the spell really description in the chat for me so I can read it. Alias, Actually, go. I'm going to move a little further. Sorry. You go for it. Uh, All, right. All right. Claw the first goblin. Well, with... never mind. I'll just you keep moving. One. Go ahead. Go ahead and call the first goblin. Oh, I'm gonna give you the claw. The claw. The goblin. claw. That poor goblin. You know, um, I just punch it in the face, and I just go incredibly. <laughs> falls on his ass. Oh, that just PTSD'd me for a minute. Yeah. Uh, I am a centurion, and then I move over here, and then I punch <laughs> this one too. And I have flanking. Uh, I am not seeing you as flanking. Flanking, you have to be it's uh, f- uh, f- uh, 3.5 flanking. You have to be angled. Oh, uh, there? Okay. So, yeah. Okay. So, then I don't move yet. We're spit roasting this goblin. There. <laughs> I lied. I'm just going to stand by my uh, fire stag and kiss him. Right. Come here. <laughs> this one, too, is going to suffer a similar fate. Uh, he actually survives his, his his clawing. You know what? I'll spend my bonus action to give that the burning damage. <laughs> you could have re-rolled that if you were using your weapon and oh. not your hand. But I wouldn't get two attacks. Mm. Alright, and then let's see how much health that cost me. Mm. Aha! Yeah. Hey, I just uh, got good trade, a... you know? Hold on one second, guys. I think we just went down. What happened? I think the stream just went down. It might be. Oh, oh yep. A shit. Stream is down. <clears throat> yeah. Give me oh, no. Second. Give me just one second. So that goblin <laughs> still survives, by the way, with that one damage. Stupid what? goblin. Have seven HP? Did you have exactly seven <laughs> HP? Yeah, I did eight damage. It was five plus three. He, he did the three to the goblin. He took and one, one to myself. Oh, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. You know, you didn't call that, so it's up to the DM. <laughs> no, 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 that's fine. Give me a second as I try and figure out uh, what the hell happened here because. Now I go one, two. What's crazy is it's telling me that we're still alive, but it's showing the stream down. Yeah, yeah, it just went down, and then I think I managed to go back up. It'll happen sometimes. <clears throat> <laughs> I swear this never happened to me before. No, it happened to me once. You know, it was an orgy. I was a little nervous. Can, uh, <laughs> and then your stream went down. Can someone please? Can someone please post on the? Why are we offline? We are not offline. Can someone please post that we are back? Yes. Are we back? I don't know. No, we are not yet. Yeah, it keeps going in and out for me. Uh, it could be Twitch trying to prioritize bandwidth. Really? Doing Twitchy things? Yeah, they do that sometimes. It's it's showing that we're up, that we've been up for 42 yeah. seconds again now. But it's just having a hard, hard time playing. Right, oh, it. I see us up on the browser, and then it went down again. Alright, give it a second. Twitch, uh... 
This is saying that we're up. I am still recording, so at the very least, we'll be able to put it up on YouTube. But that's weird. Um, is anybody um, in the chat? Is the chat still going? Wingman yeah. can. Yeah. I don't know who Wingman can is. That's a friend of mine. It's up. Uh, it looks like we. Hey guys, are we back? Yes. Question. Can mark? anybody hear us? Whenever I load it, it shows us that we're back, and then my video immediately crashes and it goes uh, not. Uh, my video is just continuously browser. loading. Yeah. Same. Awful. I moved it to. I mean, we'll have to deal with it, and I guess we'll post it up somewhere. You know. Yeah. Which is unfortunate. Okay, it looks like... Yeah. Oh, okay, so now it's... God damn it. Like, it goes fully back up. Like, it even, like, goes back to HD as opposed to being, like, blurry. And then it just goes back to loading. Okay, it looks like we are, in fact, live now. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that, guys. I have zero idea what just happened. Um, those of you in the chat, please let us know if you can hear us. Let us know yeah, if we I'm... are 100% back. We're very sorry. The goblins that were running away tripped over a cable. <laughs> we weren't expecting it, honestly. Like we already scolded him. He's going to be in the. Uh, he's going to be waiting for me in the bedroom later, so I can teach him how to properly do things. Wiring, wiring, so, um, wiring. Yeah. What? What else would I teach? Wire practice. Like oh, why? Whyety. Um, Skull, <laughs> go ahead. And, go ahead and finish moving yourself. And we're back to the replacements. All right. Yes. Always, always back to the replacements. Actually, it's funny that way. Work, work. So that was that had cost me five feet. And here, that's five more feet. Ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. That's all I get. All right, Delvin, you now have the sheaf of paper and are ready to continue. Is there a, is there an e exit over here or only the There's one I came in? There's one to the front. There's one to the front and one to the back. Yes. Right. Technically, there wasn't an entrance in the back until you made one by <laughs> rushing through it. All right, we're going to come out. I thought about liberating, the, continuing my Harriet Tubman ways, but fuck that guy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I know where this is going. He's a big meanie. Every now and then, you meet a guy that just does not want to be saved. He <laughs> right. doesn't deserve Delvin. Uh, how, this is, was that the 30? You do have 30, yes. Alright. And remember that you can dash for free if you want as a rogue. Right. And I am still... Until I make somebody make a save or I attack somebody, I should still be all not seeable. So there's... You are, you are currently stealthing, but you are not invisible. Yes. Don't worry. Percent. One of these days, I'm going to get you greater invisibility and we're all going to be happy. You know Alright. Well, that should be as far as I can run, I guess, right? Happiness is a rogue with cloak of invisibility. I am killing these ten goblins because I'm not going to mess around with the fact that they are stuck in these things. They, and they are not smart enough to not get killed. <laughs> they tried to move and uh, did not go well for them. Yeah, I'm not... That, in fact, is... they tried to run out. They, they panic. And they try to run out of the thorn. So I really thought that it was probably... The most likely thing is that they were going to run to their death. Right? Mm -hmm. Because they're going to panic because they see how bad things are. And the thorns would not unpanic them. They're not going to be less scared because they're standing in a field of thorns. Right. What? What do you say? I always feel more comfortable standing in a field of uh, randomly sprouted thorns that produce yeah, themselves around me as I just wake up. Extremely it's extremely reassuring. Yeah, Absolutely. it's extremely reassuring. You're like, oh man, look at all this. Yeah, no, like, no, mother, I mean, that means that no strangers are going to exactly. approach you because they would get hurt, so, you know. I uh, know, and, 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 you know, no one's sneaking up behind me because, you know, thorns. Thorn. Yeah, exactly. See, it's very reassuring. Incredibly. Uh, Especially when the wizard sets it on fire. All right, so, <laughs> Nefret said, you are up. Speaking um, of setting things on fire. The goblins with the white flag are the ones that are um, running. Hmm. Killing fleeing combatants. Nefresa doesn't care about war crimes. So, uh, me, with my extensive knowledge of magic, uh, would I know if I could set this briar that has been sprouted out by druidic magic uh, aflame? 
Um, so Firebolt does not usually light things on fire. That would so be... Firebolt specifically says a flammable object hit by this ignites if it is not being worn or carried. Um, yes, you could then light that on fire. Uh, I do not. Ah! I don't see the point because all the goblins are dead. But I, I wanted to create a bonfire big enough for Kasim to throw the rest of them into. So what I'm <laughs> going to say is that because you lit it on fire is why they all died. <laughs> All right, that sounds good to me. There's your fire bolt. I got, I got a twenty. Ooh, I get a twenty when beautiful. I'm not even shooting anything. I hate it so much. How much damage did I do? Look, uh, that is a lot of dead goblins. That is, that is a lot, a lot of dead goblins. Still counts as one. Um. So now we're moving over to Kasim's turn. Kasim, uh, a second ago there was goblins everywhere, and now there's not. And now there's not. Kasim is very happy with this uh, development. This turn of events. Um, I don't know that any of you are like Rain Man, able to have counted goblins to see how many there are left, but there are not many. <laughs> All right. So at this point, uh, Kasim's gonna. He's, he's gonna move over here. Whistle at the goblin. <laughs> as you do uh, as one does Rico. did you just draw on everything like a like an unhappy person <laughs> yes it's on fire I wanted to signify that it's on fire All right. you could have used like red or yellow <laughs> I it wouldn't let, so I changed my color to red and it still drew it in pink. All right. I so believe you. I decided to just leave it as pink. All right. So are we down again, guys? What is up? So what the stream right. has not come up again after that first time, but I keep loading it up, and it keeps. <clears throat> just barely popping up. It is so very weird. Uh, I have another stream up, and they're having no issue. Uh, like I said earlier, I think Twitch is just prioritizing bandwidth. Okay. And because uh, that happens a lot, especially on like really high priority days, it's probably because like Ninja, or some stupid person, fucking came on. I mean, um, one of these great, amazing uh, people who either has been or were on Twitch. Fantastic you, you know what? Right. If they if they give if they name us on their channel, they're amazing. If not, uh, <laughs> they you know. suck. Well, no yeah, I was watching. Uh, so... I was watching Ninja the other day. He was like, "Yeah, I saw this new D and D thing on Three to B Radio. Check them out." <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Kasim, what are you doing with your turn? Uh, I'm gonna yoink this guy. Okay. <laughs> Where are you yoinking him to? Um. Well, first I gotta do the the whole. Uh, yeah, see if we can beep that. The, the being swole thing. Yeah. He, he, you successfully have yoinked. Right, I'm gonna move back That's one, nice. and I'm going to place him like right here on the fire, very, very comfortably. We need to start. Hey, making, have you guys uh, ever seen when they do the thing in Colombia where they take a whole cow and they basically like spit roast an entire cow on these like things and like lay them all on these racks that are that are around a huge bonfire? Have you ever seen that? Yes. I've seen that in Argentina. Yes, I have. Yeah, in Argentina too. And um, this is what this is reminding me of, what we're doing to the goblins right now. <laughs> yeah. Spit roasting them? Oh, yeah, on these thorns. Just... <laughs> I don't know none of y'all that well yet. I'm just going to hold them <laughs> to the fire and hope he cooks. Yeah. Um... Um, go ahead and roll a d8 for damage. <laughs> we are, um, you know, just uh, oh. doing God's work. I mean, uh, he's mostly... Okay. I have we're not God's work. Yeah, yeah. We're uh, see we're, this one. We're not roasting. We're smoking. That's why he <laughs> only took one damage. Uh, these two are gone. Oh, actually, that one is gone, right? Because that's his turn. <clears throat> Izzy, please send me the link to our YouTube. On it. Uh, this video will actually go up early. You can let everyone know. Because, because okay. uh, 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 it is up on the thing there. Yeah, okay. it is. It is just 
screwed tonight. Um, okay, mm-hmm. so it it our broadcast has ended according to Twitch. Yeah, mm-hmm. they, they, they have decided. Oh, and now it's back. Yeah, it's been going in and out. I'm just gonna go ahead and post that up there. And if you wanted to copy pasta that and put it up on our uh, like on our main channels or however, yeah. I absolutely will. All right, so this guy's going to try and get out of Kasim's grip. Nope. Kasim, go ahead oh, and roll buddy. another D8. Oh, buddy. What are you doing? Oh. <laughs> oh, buddy. <laughs> Just slowly smoking him. Just shaking him, like, over the fire. Like Kasim is low-key wondering what Goblin tastes like. <laughs> uh, smells delicious I'll tell you that much is still alive but terrified <laughs> Kas- Kasim Someone's is looking at the goblin and is like keep your eye open I like to see the light fade <laughs> <laughs> I like watching it when the light fades <laughs> yeah and that is totally something Kasim would say oh that one's dead that one's dead uh that one is run off. We did it, Patrick. We saved the city. <laughs> and that one runs off. And oh well, that was an accident. Yeah, it literally came back up for me randomly. That one's dead. That one's dead. That yeah, one's dead. Think? That one's dead. You stress it. One's dead. That one's dead. It that comes up. Dead. That one's dead. Yep. <sighs> Oh, well, guys, still don't alive. forget to check us out on 3B Radio. <laughs> uh, it seems that we are live. Uh, guys, so what you have missed is that Neferetset lit the Briar Patch on fire and killed the ten goblins that were in there. And there's only one goblin left, two goblins left alive uh, that are awake. Um, although I'm, I'm about to wake up the last of them. Kasim, throw me into the fire. <laughs> I'll go get the rest of the goblins, I swear. Uh, As you do, another character appears. Yes, how can I help you? <laughs> you have been saying very worrying things as of late, Lady Nesferetse. <laughs> I am worried about you. So, I just really want to play that damn uh, Igor. <laughs> Let's be clear. This goblin is still deciding to continue to shoot at Alias, but we'll miss. Bro, I'm going to go down there. I'm going to kick his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. But I'm gonna go down there, all right, and I'm gonna teach him a lesson. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna wear him a, like a puppet. You know? <laughs> I'm going to wear him like a hand puppet, okay? I'm, I'm gonna, gonna make him, him talk. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna okay, say you get that puppet, it's very realistic. And the, the goblin can just mouth. Do you see this claw? Do you see this claw? I'm gonna take this claw. I'm gonna shoot on this puppet. <laughs> right here and I'm gonna shove it so so um, with this I'm going to say that you guys have successfully <laughs> defeated the goblin horde uh, oh my god I'm crying I need a tissue that <laughs> hurts <sighs> there's only oh. seven goblins left that have any interest in fighting um, oh I'm going to assume that Alias wanders his happy ass over and kills that one. Yeah, and then makes a puppet out of it. Don't get, get back to me. Uh, <laughs> so you guys now start running back to town. I want to write into I'm my inventory. Goblin as I'm puppet. chugging it all. Uh, you're chugging your potion? Go ahead. That's going to be 2d4. Kasim is Just... dragging this uh, this very cooked goblin. He's going to eat it. I- I'm dragging the, the puppet one. I'm, I'm adding oh. it to my inventory. You think I'm doing <laughs> Hold on, as we're leaving, I throw a ray of sickness over my shoulder at one of them. Oh, oh man, I can't eat it. <laughs> Alright, so you guys... I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna drink mine. Okay. Alright, six. I'm gonna go ahead I, and I don't think we should be drinking those right now. I bought it, I'm drinking it. <laughs> I like flashed and missed some. <laughs> so, I'm going to drink his soul. So, you guys were also worried about that. And fucking Neferetset and, uh, and Ashlyn killed 
Like, I think it combined 16 goblins over the course of one turn. Hey, uh, hey magic high five. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, by the way, as soon as we cross the gates, uh, Kasim's temporary hit points go away, and he just collapses on the floor. That is what? exactly how that works. <laughs> just face first. <laughs> plop. Right, you gotta well, give me, like, five minutes. Technically, we're okay? out of right, combat. Technically, we're out of combat, so he still has one hit point. 34. Oh. So you guys killed 34 of the goblins that are uh, surrounding the town. <laughs> 34 of 300? Perfect. 10% no. down. You're welcome. Another 90 guys. to go. Officially decimated them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, but we killed 34 out of 1,000. No, yeah, not yeah. 300. Yeah, oh. oh. Well, never mind. We did not decimate them. We, we did not decimate them. You guys also killed uh, four of their wargs, uh, three of their wargs. And, and a ogre. commander. And an ogre. We peeled all its layers. We peeled off all of its layers. Uh, like so, it so on. Realistically, it was actually a rather successful, like, combat. Excursion? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The GM's trying to make us uh, happy about what we've done. Oh, God, the amount of people we've killed. <laughs> <laughs> Goblins aren't God, people. Evelyn has that assertion. Goblins aren't people. And Neferesa uh, knows that to not be true. As they have art and culture. They're people. <laughs> they have art and, and culture both in quotation marks. So hey, they do have old art and culture. It doesn't matter what what we think about it. They are both there. So you guys make it back to town. You pass out. And um, you guys manage to get your long rest. Um, as you guys are almost uh, to town... You guys see that Dracker and ten town guards are following a weasel in the direction of where you guys were in danger. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're good now. Let's run that way. What? Timely. No, no, no. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Just Never mind. like wave them back. Like no, no, let's. Uh... No, no, no. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Too late. Too late. Too late. Dra Dracker <laughs> looks at the Dracker looks at the weasel. It's like you said they were in trouble, and the weasel we were... just the weasel's just like mm -hmm. <laughs> we, we were very <laughs> much in trouble. And we appreciate like Joe, it. But, <laughs> but we got out of trouble, and now we're running. You, you don't want to know. Left. You don't even know when I left. <laughs> uh, K Kodo, Kodo runs up uh, Delvin's leg and into his pouch. And you guys make it into town. You guys take your long rest. So For whatever reason, is... I could have sworn when that weasel left it was orange, and now it's blue, and I don't get it. It's white, actually, now. God bless it. <laughs> Uh, I have no idea what's blue happening. Blue going in the pocket. Like it popped it. out of the pocket white, and I'm like, "What is this? <laughs> Why?" Uh, I'm gonna take a look at that piece later. You guys, he's, he's always been white. You guys get your long rest. So go ahead and uh, fill, fill up your your resources and your health. Oh boy, I get all two of my spells back. <laughs> um, and. How do I want to handle this? We're we're having connection issues. We're having connection issues. You guys, in theory, finished this. I know what I want to do for the next one. Short stream? Yeah, I think I'm going to call it a short stream because I really don't want to get into the next thing with the, with the issues that we're having. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you all with a cliffhanger. Oh. As the dawn breaks across the uh the taiga you see in the distance that the goblins are massing for an attack the the assault upon the the camp last night has riled them up and they are now preparing to actually assault the walls this morning the men and women of the town that you have been preparing are, appear to be terrified uh, and they are all looking to you for defense. We, we, we got uh, two days till Gandalf, right? So that's, that's fine. Um, so the way this is going to work think... is you have one hour to prepare before the siege people actually hit the wall. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, and you guys will need to determine how you want to handle your defenses. This map is going to be where you're going to plan your defenses. You guys have, what did I say? You have, um, you have 50 warriors and 150 conscripts. Um, yes. Let's say that um, fifty of those are are, are archers. 
which gives you 150 you have, you have 150 warriors to place around including yourselves as well as uh, Drakkar and the one guy who survived one guy? I also think our fearless commander Ogmagni should go out and uh, talk to the populace to rile them up sure. and bring up them around but all of that is actually how we're going to start next week's stream. Um, so uh, those of you who stuck through all of our technical difficulties, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, tell us in chat or on Facebook what you think the tactics that the, uh, the party should use for their defense. Uh, and uh, we'll, we'll see you all next week, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern, for another episode of Land of Ice and Snow. And uh, just as important, we will see you guys Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern for another episode of Good Boys. But I have a special announcement. <laughs> Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern, we will be a, doing a cast member stream of Valheim. And uh, there might be some rewards where we let you guys uh, get on the server for, for, for subs and, and stuff like that, uh, depending on space. Uh, thank you all for watching, and uh, bye. 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 Have a beautiful bye. day, bye, everybody. Thank you.